Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to ask you one very long interview question. And the question is related to conversion of a data bus of 24 bits to a data bus of 8 bits or a data bus of 3 bytes to a data bus of 1 byte. Friends, solving these type of problem statements not only help you to crack the interviews, but these logics are very commonly used in digital designs. And now without wasting much time, let us get started and see what is the problem statement. Friends, the problem statement is on your screen. Here you have to design this unknown logic. Its input is a data in bus which is 24 bits long or 3 bytes long. It has another signal which is 1 bit long. It is called valid, data valid signal, data valid in. And this is the clock signal where both input side and output sides are working. Now let us see the output side. It has one data output which is 8 bits long along with one valid signal which is data valid out. This is one bit signal. Now in its operation when we apply 3 bytes of data at the input along with this valid signal that should travel to the output in 3 clock cycles, in consecutive 3 clock cycles. And the sequence of events will be, firstly we will transfer the LSV byte, then the mid byte, then the MSV bytes. Friends, the important point to keep in mind is, whenever this data valid in is high, then only this data in will be considered as a valid data. Similarly, when this data valid out is high, then only data out will be considered as valid data output. So when we give input, data valid in will come for one clock cycle and we will apply three bytes. So corresponding to that data, we will give this, these three bytes at data output in three clock cycles and this data valid out will remain high for three clock cycles. Then only this data will be considered as valid data. Friends, one last thing about the problem statement. Here is a note. As the clock on the input side and output side is same, so there will be two idle clock cycle after each data valid input to rate match between the output and input because there is no memory inside our logic. So whenever we apply data at the input, after that two clock cycle will be idle clock cycles so that we can give data at its output. Now you have to write its very log code and you can pause my video here. Try to think of its answer. If something comes to your mind, please write it down in the comment section so that we can start a discussion there. Otherwise, I will reveal its solution in the upcoming videos. Those who want to know its solution, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and to get the notification of all the upcoming videos, don't forget to press the bell icon. I hope that this video will be interesting and informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and your support.